Hey folks, it's John P. I'm on the roof and 3D Robotics has given me the power to control the world. Welcome to Geek Beat. This episode of Geek Beat TV is brought to you by Audible. Hey guys, welcome to an exciting episode of Geek Beat where I have the power to control that quadcopter with my mind or well, maybe with this tablet at least. This is Scott, he is my uh, safety pilot. I was gonna say co-pilot because really he's kind of gonna be doing all the work I think. <laughs> but uh, we are taking a look at the Iris Plus. It is an amazing quadcopter that has the ability to basically fly itself. Yeah, absolutely. The autopilot inside, it's a bunch of sensors, gets a bunch of information from GPS, from satellites, um, figures out where it is in the world, and you just kind of basically tell it where you want to go. Yeah, so they know about my history with quadcopters. He's still going to let me fly it. That's confidence, people. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We've got an Android tablet, and we've got the, what's the app called anyway? Does it have a special name? Uh, this is called Droid Planner 2. Droid Planner 2, okay. What we're gonna do, it's really quite, it's ridiculously simple. So first thing, we've got, we're looking at a Google map and I can like zoom in and whatnot. We are standing on the roof of the Geek House and it knows that the quadcopter is on the roof. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this little button and we're gonna go to the editor where I get, I. I actually get to just draw a picture of what I want it to do? Absolutely. Okay, so I'm gonna make it so it just kind of circles, oops. So we'll, see, I gotta get the pen tool here. Yeah, there we get go. Get the pen tool. Now I'm just gonna draw a little circle around us. Like I just wanted to just kind of go around us. Yeah, that's great. All right, so it drew in eight, eight or nine, it looks like there's nine little points here. And uh, that's in theory, it's just gonna go from one point to the next, right? Yeah, absolutely. Now it's also gonna be at 20 meters high, so that's good. But I think we also wanna pick, we wanna tell it where we want the camera to look, right? Absolutely. So it doesn't just randomly fly around yeah. with the camera going in any and direction. That's 20 meters from the roof. Oh yeah, from 20 meters from where we are, 20 meters high. So I think, let's see, next thing I need to do, I need to go up here. So we'll select, we'll select this top oh, pin the top button. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's and we'll, it. Well, now I just tap where I want it to be, the yeah, center of focus, right? Exactly. I'm going to do it right in the middle. Yeah. Okay, right. Oh, there we go. So it added a number 10. And now this one was 20 meters high, but we don't really want it to be shooting up in the air. We want it to shoot yeah. up on the ground. We also want to make sure we'll go up to this where it says waypoint right okay. here. Okay. And we'll go down to region of interest. Oh, yeah. So like that'll... focus on me. Yeah. So region of interest. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to go back in there. Oops, here we go. Go back in there. And now I need to change the altitude to like one meter? Yeah, like one Let's meter like is a good one. That's like a meter off the, uh, off the roof here. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Boom. Now, do I need to do anything else? So you can tap out here. Tap out here. Just to close that down. Okay. When we look at that. We, we're going to observe our surroundings here and know that at 20 meters off the roof, we're not going to hit anything. Yeah. And... That tree's only maybe... Maybe five meters off. Exactly. The so we got a lot of room. So then after that, we'll go up to the top right corner here. Okay. And we'll say send mission. Uh oh. <laughs> We're gonna give it its mission. Waypoint safe to drone. Waypoint safe to drone. Okay. So now... there we go. We know. Now we can go back to our main menu. Okay. And we'll go to flight data there. And now bring it gets us dangerous. Look at this. Look at this. Arm. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, are so you we're ready gonna to save me just in case. Yeah, now, you're standing by. I'm gonna. I'm controlling the whole thing with this tablet. Absolutely, I have but my if hands on this. Something goes insane. Yeah. Or if I try and take over too much, you can actually take. You can take back control. Yeah. Okay, so first step, arm it. We're gonna arm it. Look out, Pablo. First step, we actually have oh, to hit the safety wait. switch. There's a safety switch, right? And we do want to roll on the guy on the GoPro. Oh, we gotta hit play on the GoPro. All right, we're there recording we go. there. We're recording there. Now we're gonna hold this down, and that's it. It's, oh, it's done. Okay, so now it's solid. That means that means we're ready to fly. We're ready. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna arm it, and it's gonna start the uh, rotors. It's warning me. Do you really want to do this? Yeah. Oh, there we go. All right. So and let's got... do let's do a takeoff here, and it'll come up to about 10 meters. Okay. And it'll just wait for us. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna take it off. Oh, this this, this part scares me to be honest. 
Uh, I am so used to, you know what, I probably shouldn't name competitors. But uh, what I have a DJI Phantom and it is insane, okay? I never know if it's gonna go straight up in the air or not. So it scares me. So okay, now- That thing is just staying right there. Yep, it's holding its position. So now we can press down here, there's auto. a little button that says auto. All right, that's gonna send it on its merry way, right? Yep. Here we go, auto. It's, it's giving me voice command, voice uh, confirmation. All right, so it's up in the air and looks like it's going, oh, it's going to number two. It's going, okay, number two, number three. It is really just flying around. Going four way point five. Going four way, battery at 80 Going four way point seven. Oh, and it's telling me what its battery status is It'll too, so I guess you. I don't have to worry about it like uh, totally uh, messing up and dying on us. Exactly. Okay, now it's coming back down. That is so scary. And it's just gonna land itself basically after we're done. Yep. And that's it. And the only thing we have to do is disarm it. John. Disarm it. Disarm. Disarm. Hey, John. That is just insane. John, Dave, Geo, anyone? <sighs> Men and their drones. While they're up there playing, I'm gonna get back to work and I'm going to continue listening to Sting of the Drone by Richard A. Clark. See, even girls can have fun with drones. You guys can get a free audiobook yourself by going to audiblepodcast.com slash geekbeat. One free audiobook, test it out. You can listen to while working at the gym or, oh wait, yeah, speaking of the gym, I'm supposed to be walking, not sitting. Go, go watch the drones, not me. So I also noticed there was like a follow follow me mode. Like after I lifted it up, it said follow me. Absolutely. So when you do a takeoff, you can actually activate the follow me mode from the tablet. And what it'll do is it'll use the GPS in the tablet to uh, figure out where your location is. And then you can run around and you can change the altitude. You can change the distance where it will chase you around. Um, and you can change it. There's a couple different flight modes where you can, you can have it hang out off to the right of you or off to the left or right on top or you can have it revolve around you as you're walking around. Wait, you could be walking and the thing is like circling you like a chopper scene or something Yeah, like yeah, that. exactly. It gives you those really great, beautiful Michael Bay cinematic shots. You know what would be badass? We should do one where we put the GoPro on like 120 frames per second and do one of those bad boys style, you know, like, like put an exploding car behind <laughs> us and we're just walking like this while that thing is like circling around us. Lots of lens flares, oh, blue yeah. and orange light oh, everywhere. Yeah. That Absolutely. Would be sweet. All right, uh, what's the damage on these bad boys? How much How much do these cost? So the helicopter itself is about 750 and the Terret gimbal for the GoPro is about 250. How about this little, uh, uh, what is this called, a transmitter? This is our telemetry module. Yeah. So it's what actually allows us to communicate with the helicopter while it's in the air. Yeah. And it actually comes with the system. So, okay. How much is the app? The app is free as well. Okay. I noticed on your laptop you had another app that you were doing all the same stuff on that. How much is that app? Free as well. Free. Can't beat that. Cool. All right. Well, uh, we're going to go see if we can film one of those bad boys scenes. So, you guys are going to have to leave now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want lots of explosions and lens flares. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this first look at this bad boy. We're going to see if we can just kind of steal it. I don't know, fly it around or whatever. Thumbs up on YouTube. We're out of here. See ya. Are you ready for a strip show? Hell yeah. Wait, get your mind out of the gutter. I have... Hey guys, today we're gonna learn how to convert sketches into vector artwork.